welcome back to my kitchen. If you didn't see my previous video or two, I can't remember now how many I've posted so far, but I introduced my new kitchen and I am taking you through a piecemeal, showing you how I'm organizing it. We've lived here for a couple of months now. I've really settled in. I really understand where things go and where I like them to be and how I like them to be. Um, sorted and stored for the most part uh, and so I'm taking you through piece by piece. Today we're going to focus on the drawer organization and I'll take you through and show you. I'm going to make a few tweaks that I will walk you through as well. If you hear some banging in the background I do apologize my neighbors are having their roof replaced but the time is now to film so here we go. Let's jump in and take a look at my kitchen drawers. In case you're new here, and just because I love it so much, here's an overview of the kitchen. I just, I love it. I did update it a little bit before we moved in. I switched out the countertops and changed up the hardware to make it more of a modern vibe, modern farmhouse, we'll call it. Uh, but I just, I absolutely adore this kitchen. So there are five drawers total. There's one drawer over here on this side of the kitchen. And then the other four are here, two on the center island, which are actually rather large and roomy, and two under the cabinets on the opposing side, right by the dishwasher. So these are the drawers that I use for main kitchen stuff, essentially. All cooking tools I have in here. This is mainly baking tools and some other cook cooking prep stuff. And all I did when we moved in was dump the stuff in the drawers as I had them organized in our old kitchen. So basically what I mean by that is I just took, when I packed up the old kitchen, I packed all of the things up in the organizers. So they're actually sorted how they were before and I just popped them in. I did line the drawers first thing. It was like the first thing I did when on move-in day was I lined the drawers in my favorite kind of kitchen liner, and I'll, I'll link it below if you're interested. It's kind of, um, it's not sticky, it's it's a little bit slightly padded, it's just very easy to wipe and it, and it protects your drawers and it protects your utensils too. Um, so I haven't actually spent any time really organizing these drawers technically, but I've spent a couple of months figuring out what works for me and I actually think how I've sorted the things works out fine. I just kind of want to, um, tidy them up a little bit and perhaps get there's just I don't have this size organizer I make it another organizer that's the only thing I think I would have to purchase but otherwise I have a lot of organizers on hand let me show you yes I do have that many drawer organizers I had a lot more stuff before we moved into this house I downsized a lot purposefully and so I have a lot of extra drawer organizers that I've just stuck in a bin um, it means I really pretty much don't have to buy drawer organizers when I want to switch up a project or start a new drawer system um, unless I need a specific size I don't have. For instance, that one 15 and a half inch organizer, I don't have any more that size. And I think it would be nice to have one more on that side to corral the big ladles. These drawers don't need any work. This was one of those kitchen organization beautiful miracle moments where everything that I had already organized from the old house just fit beautifully in this drawer. So this is all of our cutlery and our utensils. And these were things I, I just had them organized like this already. I had different size drawers at the old house, but by some miracle they all fit perfectly <laughs> in this drawer. Um, and I like keeping the knives kind of in the back out of the way, but it's easy enough. I do a lot of chopping preps standing here at this counter between the sink and this drawer. So I can just reach in for the knives. The two knives I use the most are here. They are my favorite knives. I got them as a set. In fact, I will link those because those are a great present. Wedding, housewarming, any kind of present. They're, they're really, really high quality knives. At any rate, I really love the way that this drawer is. It makes me so happy. And it was one of those beautiful moments where I moved in and I just stuck the things in the drawer. I was like, well, that fits just perfectly. The drawer right next door 
has all of my food storage items, um, like bags, wraps, that sort of thing. I don't use as much plastic wrap or even aluminum foil as I used to because I've made a real conscious effort to store things more in either usable storage bags, those I usually use more on, for snacks on the go for the kids to be honest. Mostly I use storage containers in my fridge um, or beeswax wraps if I just want to cover something. I love these. I will link these below. These are from Etsy. Um, I just makes me feel better but I do still have Ziploc bags in every size known to mankind and all the different kinds of plastic wrap, press and seal, parchment paper, what have you. I do love using silpats for cooking now. I really don't even use foil or parchment all that often anymore, but I still have these things on hand. And once again, this is just one of those situations where I just started putting the things in the drawer and they all fit by some miracle in perfect alignment. <laughs> I am one of those crazy people. I don't know if I should say that. It's not crazy. I think it's actually environmentally conscious on some level. I save plastic bags that aren't really, that are, you know, totally not dirty or can be reused. I'll even rinse some out sometimes. And I put those there and I always use those first before reaching for a clean one. Um, what else do I have in here? I can show you. I just have some paper straws. We don't use straws very often. Some Mickey straws. Those were from Disney World ages ago, but oh my gosh, these drawers, they just came together so beautifully. And this location works really well for food storage stuff because I actually, I hemmed and hawed over where to keep my food storage um, stuff for a while, but I actually ended up putting it up in a cabinet. And this is something I want to work on a little bit probably next. I'll show you guys my kitchen cabinets in the next video, but I kind of want to put the lids in a nicer way. But I just keep all of this up here and this down here. And so when I'm packing up food at the end of a meal, when I'm cleaning up, it just, everything's in this one area and it's sort of like food packaging command center. So this drawer didn't have anything in it for a while and I thought for a while I wasn't going to have a kitchen drunk drawer because it just tends to become cluttered in my experience, but I've been experimenting with this for a couple months now. I decided to go ahead and make a kitchen junk drawer because I just needed a space to put these, not necessarily kitchen items, but things that I need on the first floor on a regular basis I need access to. Um, and because this is at the edge of the kitchen and I don't need it for cooking utensils or anything like that, it was just empty space, so I figured why not? And it's actually stayed really neat and tidy, much to my delight and surprise. Um, so this is my latest iteration of a kitchen junk drawer. I have everything, again, this I organized intentionally using all of the little drawer organizers I have. And these are the Linus drawer organizers. I don't know if I mentioned that. From the container store, they're my absolute favorite. They are sturdy. They, I like that they're clear. Um, they're easy to wipe out, and they come in so many shapes and sizes, as you can see <laughs> from my massive collection of them. Uh, but I'll just take you through this really quick. I'm sure you can just see I've got kind of like a little first aid center here. I actually have a full first aid kit in the pantry, but this is just basically band-aids because we use those a lot with a two and a four-year-old. Kids scissors, my scissors, box cutter, pads of paper, I keep a running shopping list for Whole Foods and Thrive. Those are where I get my groceries on the regular. Um, other kinds of sticky notes and pens and tapes, paper clips, all that jazz, hairbrush, obviously essential charging stuff, lo so much lotion <laughs> and so many lip balms, but I do use them. Obviously the labeler is essential. I have this, if you're curious, why this is labeled vacuum. I use this brush just to clean out my Dyson stick vacuum. That's all it's intended for. These are actually little binoculars we use to look at animals in the backyard sometimes. They're like opera glasses. And then um, obviously everybody needs balloon clips in their house. That's super important. <laughs> you know, again, with a two and a four year old, sometimes I need a balloon clip and I, now I have them tape measures, so basically kind of your run-of-the-mill stuff, um, but it really, it's a drawer I use so much, and I like having. In If I had like a desk or something near the kitchen, I would keep this in there, but because like I said, I wasn't using that drawer, and because of its location really, 
out of the main prep area for the kitchen, um, it works. It could totally also function as like a coffee tea drawer, but I have put um, all of my coffee and tea up in the cabinet above, which again, I will show you next week. So going back here, I think the only drawer I really need to work on is that one. I think this is fine. This is the one thing where I, if I could get this 15 and a half, I think it's a 15 by five and a half inch drawer organizer. If I could buy another one, I would put it there just to corral those uh, ladles a bit more, but otherwise this functions really well um, for me. I like have, it's kind of in order of how I use things closer to the stove. So spatulas, a spoon rest, spoons and small ladles, wooden spoons, spatulas, whisks. I mean, it just goes, kind of goes in order of importance. Obviously the s'more um, roasters are super important, <laughs> but they fit, I mean, I just had room in this drawer. Uh, so I thought, why not? And kind of less these things bigger, bulkier items I put in the back. Okay, with this one, I think how I have things separated pretty much works. I don't want this divider in here anymore. This was from the old house. I would like to just use my clear one, so I'm gonna root through my collection, see what I have that might work. Um, if you're curious, this I use for uh, waffle and pancake mix. Um, I use that quite a bit, so it's not often in the drawer, it's often in the fridge, and this is an onion chopper. I'm gonna see what I can pull out of the bin and organize the rest of this drawer, and then that's pretty much it, I think, for, for drawer organization happiness. to maximize space in this drawer as you can see I did end up taking out the pancake mix thingy but I put it in with my waffle maker because I use it so often more often than not it's in the fridge to be honest so I felt like that was an okay place for it I really like how this drawer came out I just kind of reconfigured it a little bit added in some more of those drawer organizers they all fit beautifully and everything I really want in there fits in there. And it's all organized just how I like it for food and baking prep work. And then what I did is I went ahead and I moved the straws and chopsticks over to this drawer. Cause I think it makes more sense for them to be in this drawer anyway, in terms of being with like things and things that I use um, kind of in the same capacity. So essentially I just took this container and put it in here. It fits perfectly. I put the kitchen scissors up here. That's fine for now. Um, I could put them over here if I was feeling particularly picky about it, I suppose. I actually tucked the knife sharpener in here. It goes underneath this drawer organizer, but it fits really well right there. So that all worked out great. Just a few minutes and using stuff I had in the hand and it worked out great. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I sort and organize everything in my drawers. I am going to take you through the cabinets I think next week. I kind of want to do more series type videos so I'm going to do the whole kitchen reveal and organization first and then uh, um, we'll move on to another area of the house. I have so much to work on still and I'm so excited to be able to take you uh, through it with me. I did want to ask your help on something. Back here you can see, flanking the fridge, I have these two sets of bigger cabinets. Those are my pantry, basically. That's where I'm keeping all of our dry foods and goods like that. I do not know. I am a little bit stumped on how to organize these. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little shot here, a little look at them, show you how I have them. Um, sorted right now. So flanking the fridge, like I said, I have all of these beautiful cabinets um, which are rather deep um, and long but no organization really at all in them. I have my Berkey. I took one shelf out to fit the Berkey and that fits works perfectly because the kids, my whole vision with that is, is the kids could reach it to get their own water and they do and that works fine. I've put um, 
like a organizer riser thing that I already had back there, but it could be could be better envisioned. And then these are just the bins from the old pantry. And I literally have them stacked two in deep. And I just, I don't know what to do with them. So that's all baking supplies. Um, and then more two deep of the bins with my dry goods. Um, bigger, bulkier items over here. Again, this is just what I had in my other pantry at the old house, and I think I have a video or 10 of that, so I'll put that in if you want to see how I organize. This is not intentional organization. This was, I moved in and I just stuck everything in here, and I thought, I'll organize it later. Well, it's later now, and I'm ready to organize it. I just haven't yet. This bin has all of Winnie's stuff. I mean, the bins on the upper shelves kind of work for the backup bulkier items, like snacks and things, because I can just pull out like the Winnie bin, for, for example. That needs to be organized. <laughs> Obviously, I did not pre-tidy this area for you. But yeah, I think these two bigger lower cabinets, I'd love to do something a bit more accessible. I mean, as you can see, I've just clumped things in. It's not super functional. They are deep, but, and dark <laughs> in there. So I'm not really sure what to do. I don't really want to spend a lot of money and do custom pullouts, which would be the thing that I would do if I were designing a kitchen from scratch with that arrangement, is I would have the uh, shelves be pull out, like on casters. If that makes sense, I think that makes sense. Um, I guess that's something I can look into doing. I just don't really want to spend the time and and have that requires you know hiring somebody to to, to outfit those for me. So if you have any ideas on things I can do that don't require that, let me know. And maybe it's a project that we can collaborate on. Um, it's something I do want to work on now. Um, so leave me a comment if you have any thoughts and ideas. Um, any way I can reuse things I already have too is always good, but I am open to buying some new organizers, so I just, I'm not, honestly, I'm just not sure what to do. So let me know if you have any thoughts. You guys always have great ideas. I appreciate your input, and I will see you next week for more kitchen organization fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.